All right, Shalom, first and foremost, only of all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shad, Bahashem, Rakhakadash. The bonds unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the Akiyam, to the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, put in the truth and faith and in all sincerity. On the brother Shema'ala from the Jim Mashiach camp. And this is going to be a, um, a, quick straight, a quick, straightforward lesson going through Psalms 91. All right, just going through each verse, you know, just going through it. You know, and uh, right, that's pretty much it, right? So it's going to be going into Psalms, the 91st chapter, right? All of it, right? Lord willing. This is Psalms 91, starting at 1. When you read this little heading right here, it says, The security of one who trusts in the Lord. All right? But it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And what is the secret place of the Most High? The secret place of the most high is this truth right is this truth because this truth is like it's like an unto a secret because why everyone cannot get it even when yahweh shah said in matthew 13 right that you know uh matter of fact i just <laughs> i just gotta get it all right matthew 13 9 and 10, it says, Matthew 13 and 9, Who had ears, let him hear. Who had ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. All right, so he's speaking these things out, right, in a particular way, so only a certain few can understand it, which is the elects. All right, so come back to Psalms 91. He that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So this truth is like it unto a secret. We are we are telling the secrets out loud, but only a certain remnant is going to be able to get it. Everybody's not going to be able to come into this truth and understand it. Okay, so this is the secret place. All right? Only a, only a, a, a certain few individuals right, of the Israelites, all right, are going to be able to understand it and come into it. All right. So see that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right. The shadow represents the protection. And you will be protected from evil. You will be protected from danger. Protected from Esau, Edom. Right. Protected from death. All these different things. The Most High is gonna is gonna be behind you. Right. Because uh, you are about Him. Uh, you are about this truth. Even in the book of Revelation, the third chapter, when it speaks about, you know, the hour of temptation, which, you know, is the karagma, right? He said, I will keep you from it, right? Because because of your patience, right? Basically, roughly paraphrasing in the scripture, all right? Basically, you know, suffering for him, teaching his word, doing his work. I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and in him will I trust, all right? The Lord is our fortress, all right, he's our refuge. He is where we go to for protection. What well, that's Proverbs um, 18 to 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous running into it and is safe. All right, let me try to get that. All right. Proverbs 18 to 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and is safe. So we call upon the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, right, which is the Most High. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shah, right? Because all things, you know, as possible through Yahweh Shah. Right, we got to pray through that name. Right, so we pray to these names, you know, when we need protection. Okay? But we need anything. We need to be healed. We got certain ailments. Yahweh Shah tells us whatever we pray for, you know, through, through whatever we ask for, through his name to the Father, shall be given us. All right? So we, we always run to the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. Go back here. It says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Right. And if you don't know, right, it's going to the missiles because America would be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, right? The ICBMs, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. They can be shot from one continent to the other. Okay, so this is what we want to be delivered from. All right, it has to be a deliverance or 
but we will be destroyed as well. We don't be delivered from the swords of America. All right. It says, um, he shall cover thee with his feathers under his wings. Shall thou trust, right? Going to those chariots. Matthew, what, 24, I believe, 31 or 41, something like that, right? Uh, let me see. Matthew 24 and 31. And it says, He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So this is how the, the Yahweh Shah is going to deliver his elect. All right, in those chariots, right? This is how they're going to be gathered. Okay. So. He said, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Right? So this truth is going to be your shield and buckler. It's going to be your protection. All right? Because you're walking in the spirit of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. So he's going to protect you. All right? Because you're walking uprightly. You're walking in righteousness. All right? Through the name of Yahweh Shah. So the Lord is going to say, he says, basically, um, fight. Fight for the truth unto death. Strive for the truth unto death. Right, the Lord shall fight for you, something like that, along those lines, right? All right, but you're fighting for the Lord, he's gonna fight for you. All right, he's gonna protect you. He said, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. So, what's the arrow that fly by day? It's talking about those missiles. All right, you're doing what the Lord tells you to do, man, and you rehearsing the, the righteous acts. Are right, you showing charity? You got that brotherly love, which is important as well. All right. Charity is, is the most important. All right, charity is important. All right, because you can you can know the, the, the breakdowns and the prophecy, this, this, and that. You don't have charity, you show that love to your brothers, you are nothing. It's what Paul said, right? In the book of Corinthians. All right. But you're doing all these things, right? You're not gonna have to be afraid of this. All right, because these things were created for the wicked. All right, says no for the pestilence that walking in darkness, no for the destruction that wastes in, at noonday. Right, the pestilence, right? A few years ago, we had to with the, the, the C-19, right? And we all trusted in the Lord, but you had these people, they were they were panicking, right? But we don't have to panic, right? Because we don't got to be afraid of these things, right? The Lord, like I said, this is not designed. If we are walking righteous and we are the elect, right? It's not designed for us if we are of that number, all right? It says, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. It's the same thing as the, as the missiles. Right, because noon day, what noon is looked at as what twelve o'clock. Right, and at twelve o'clock, that's when the sun is the highest in the sky. Right, so basically, at the height, you know, of Esau's kingdom, that's when he's going to be destroyed. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nine deep. Right, people are going to be dropping, you know, uh, bodies are going to be dropping left and right. Right, but the elect is going to be protected. Right, it says, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. All right, so we're going to see people dying. We're going to see people dropping dead. We're going to see people getting judged, right? But, you know, mainly this is going to be, you know, in those chariots when we see, you know, this place being destroyed, right, by, by fire, right? This is that lake of fire that John seen, right, in the book of Revelation, right? It's not hell, right, as as a as speaking of as an underground place where people are burning and on fire, right? devil all of these different things right it's not what it's talking about it's talking about babylon the great right which is america being on fire is going to look like, look like a lake right but we're going to see this place you know burning all right that's why you shall see it says only with thine eye shall that behold and see the reward of the wicked revelation the woods the 15 chapter speaks about looking down through those chariots all right he says, because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. Right? So this is going to be your reward. Salvation. Right? Because you made the most high your habitation. We trusted it. And we did what Yahweh Bashim Yahshua wanted us to do and required us to do. Unto the end. It's like Yahweh Shah said, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. There shall no evil befall thee, and there shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. See, protection. Right? But it sounds what 30 and 7. The angel, let me see, 34 and 7. All right. Psalms. 
34, 7, right? It says, the angel of Yahweh will camp around about them that fear him and deliver them. All right? So we fear the Lord. The, the angel is going to be around you and giving you that protection. All right? That's that spiritual security. All right? 24, 7. All right? The angels don't sleep. They don't need to take a break. All right? Psalms, what, 121 speaks about that the most. I don't need to take breaks. They're not in bodies as we are. All right? We get tired. We get lazy and things like that. Right? But they don't. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in, in thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thy foot, lest thy dash thy foot against the stones. The stone, right? So it's gonna have to be a spiritual intervention right in the time to come during Jacob's trouble and when the missiles are about to drop. Because if not, hey, we are gonna perish. So the angels are gonna have to come protect us from all these dangers and the evil that's gonna be happening on the planet Earth at this time. All right. The angels are gonna have to protect us. Right, and they're going to be given a charge over you. So they're going to be commanded to protect the, the elect. All right? During the time to come. All right? This is what we have to trust in. This is what we have to believe. It's going to be chaos, you know, all over America, right? You know, people getting judged, right? Left and right. Bodies, you know, everywhere. Right? You saw it coming through like a madman, right? But the angels are going to be given charge to protect the elect. All right. It says, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample on their feet. Right? Esau eat him, right? He we, we're gonna get him. <laughs> we're gonna get him. When everything is all said and done, we're gonna get him. All right. Because he only got this rulership temporarily, but he's about to lose it. And then he's gonna be in our kingdom, but as our our slaves, as our servants, he's gonna be getting punished. Okay, and we're going to have a chance to pay him back for everything that he's done to us. Right, double. Because we're going to have those spiritual powers. We're going to have to, bro, we're going to be able to do so many things, man. All right, he's going to feel that pain. That's why when you go into the, the parable of the rich man and Lazarus, he couldn't take it. He couldn't take it. It was too much for him. All right, but that ain't going to matter. All right, he's going to be getting beat day and night except for the Sabbath. Okay, and then he's going to be exterminated after that. Right? But we're going to overcome him. You see what Revelation 12 said, we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Right? Through Yahweh Shah's sacrifice and through the word of the testimony, through this truth. All right, so we just got to keep doing this, man. He said, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I, it says, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. So you got to know the name of the Lord and call upon that name. Despite what anybody else may say, that you don't got to know the name of Yahweh and his, and his son's name, Yahweh Shah. No, you have to know those names. He said, therefore, will I deliver him? And because we did, because we know his name. All right? And not only just because of knowing his name, but the actions and the things that came along with it. Because right? that shows our faith. Let me see. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, right? You got Jacob's trouble coming up. He's going to be with us, right? He said he shall call upon me and I will answer him. Nobody's going to have anybody to call and talk to. The, 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 the world is going to be in chaos. But we will be able to call upon the most side. What did he say? I will answer you. All right? I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him, right? Just like Yahweh shot went through his hour of temptation. The Lord was with him. All right, Yahweh Shah said, Lord, I'm with you until the end of the world. Okay? So the, the, the Lord is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to be with us. Right? Even when Yahweh Shah said that, hey, well, smite the, smite the shepherd and the sheep shall scatter, he said, basically, y'all are going to forsake me, but really, I'm not alone because the Father is with me. All right? Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, right? The angels, they're all going to be with us during this time. Even though it may appear, right, we're going to be able to see with the eye, right? Just know that they are there. They're always around. They're around now. I will deliver him and honor him. How are we going to be honored? In the kingdom of heaven. We're going to be kings. Yahweh Shah is going to give us those crowns. Right? We're going to be dressed in royal apparel. We're going to, we're going to be given our rewards. This is how we're going to be honored. All the things that we've been doing, that we're doing now, right, it's going to pay off. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Right? Long life, which is going to be eternal life through Yahweh Shah. Right? Never die. Right? We're going to be... Kings living forever, right? Because you have kings 
that when they die, they just, the son got to come into power and take over their position. No, it's not going to happen. Right. We're gonna be, we're gonna keep our position forever. We're gonna have sons, which they're gonna be kings as well. They're gonna be rulers as well. Okay, but we're not gonna lose our positions, especially if we have that that that, that hundred forty-four thousand. Oh, that's solidified, right? But Israel is not gonna, we're not gonna die anymore because we're gonna have the the, the laws, the commandments within us. All right, only the other nations and the heathen around us are gonna be dying. All right, so yeah, that that's that's the lesson. I was just edifying, you know, just something quick to the spirit. This is Psalms, the 91st chapter. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.